video, I am going to show you some examples of how to actually use the graphical method to add vectors. All right, as you can see here on the board, I have five vectors, vector A, vector B, vector C, vector D, and vector E. Okay, five vectors. Now let's suppose we wanted to add vectors A and C. Okay, as indicated in the first video, the first thing you want to do is to place both vectors head to tail. So let's move this down a little bit. This A. And here is C over here. Let's slide it down, pointing in the same direction. Okay, place the tail of C at the head of A. Okay? So there we have it, head to tail. Okay? So now what is the sum of these two vectors? This, in order to figure this out, we have to draw what is called the resultant R. Now if you look at this diagram, you can see that R is simply uh, a plus C. Okay? So, if A is equal to 5 meters east and C is equal to 6 meters east, then the resultant, which is the sum of both vectors, is 5 meters east plus 6 meters east which will give us 11 meters east. Okay? So what, what, are we, what is this telling us here? That if you have two vectors pointing in the same direction, you can just add the vectors. You just can just add the magnitudes of the vectors. Okay? Okay, that's it for that example. Let's look at another example here. Okay, let's keep this here, five meters east. Now suppose we want to add A, vector A, to vector D. Okay, you place the vectors head to tail. Okay, so this is D. And let's suppose that this is seven meters west. Now what is the resultant in this case? The resultant is going to be this little piece right here. That's your resultant. Okay, it goes from the tail of the first vector to the head of the second vector. Okay, so now our resultant is vector A plus vector D. So let's put the numbers in. A is 5 meters east plus D, which is 7 meters east. I'm going to have to do a little bit of manipulation here now. Actually, this is supposed to be west, I'm sorry. Okay. But we can't add east and west like that. So what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to make this five, keep this as five meters east minus seven meters east. Okay? What am I actually saying? I'm saying that seven meters west is the negative of seven meters east. Okay? What is this going to give us? It is going to give us a negative two meters east as the result. So the sum of these two vectors, as you can see, is negative two meters east. And it makes sense because it's pointing to the left and we are taking the direction to the left as our negative direction, okay? All right, so that's it for those two vectors. Let's try another one. Let's put this back over here. Vector D and uh, Vector A. All right. Let's pick a couple more. How about vectors A and B? Let's add those. 
Okay, so we have vector A, and we want to add it to vector B. Once again, we put these vectors head to tail. Okay, now if you look at this diagram, it looks like it is supposed to be a right triangle, right? So let's go ahead and make it a right triangle. Let's draw the resultant. Once again, the way you draw the resultant is you draw a line from the tail of the first vector to the tip of the second vector. That is your resultant. And there you have it. We have a right triangle. Okay? So how do we find the resultant? We have to treat it just like we do a right triangle. You solve for the hypotenuse, which in this case is the resultant. So what will the equation be? R squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. So once again, if A is equal to 5 and B is equal to 6 meters, 